Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of July. So what do we have for Scorpio for the month of July? What do we have for Scorpio for the month of July? Goddess of the Moon. You, did Taurus have this? Or Cancer? I'm not sure which one had it. One of the readings that I just did for July had this. I can't remember which one. No, I can't remember. It's either Taurus or Cancer. So you, those, you know, anything that comes out of my mouth during a reading is part of the reading. So you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Cancer or both. Okay. There's something that is about to be revealed. Okay, there's some 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 sort of uh, connection. It's a divine connection. It's a seven. Okay, seven is a number from heaven. So there's some sort of heavenly connection here. Now the moon is is um, hidden forces. All is not as it seems. You need to really follow your gut. You may also be sensing, you may be sensing some sort of infidelity, okay? You may be sensing some sort of deception. I think that you have a divine connection and you should be listening to whatever it is that you're sensing, okay? I feel like all is not as it seems and you know it. You know it, okay? So there's there's something definitely going on here. You could be dealing with somebody that is very beautiful or your your partner is dealing with somebody that is very beautiful. Okay? This is definitely a, or you are very beautiful. You probably are, especially if you're that's a female right there. Um a bunch fell out. We're not going to take them. We're going to see what what do we have for Scorpio? You definitely need to proceed with caution because there's something that is being hidden from you. And I think that you are sensing that. Um, now, what I just heard was talking to the moon as well. Uh, so you may have been praying for something. You need to think about talking to the moon. There's a song. Uh, I can't remember who it's by. Bruno Mars. Talking to the moon. Um... So something may have manifested for you. We're going to take that one as well. So what do we have for Scorpio? Ooh, I think that one come up a lot lately. But this is for July. Okay, rat. Someone is working against you behind your back. Okay. Ink pop. Problems to be resolved. And it's interesting because that was like a, there's something hidden there is definitely somebody working against you and you have you're going to have to, you know the ink is spilled it's going to be a mess okay there is going you're going to have to resolve a problem and rats cause big messes so you're dealing with somebody that is um garbage material or something like that um piece of garbage anyhow oh, woman dealings or relationship with a woman and July is going to be a very prominent month for you you are going to be dealing and remember and it's funny because I said we have a woman here as well something to do with a woman okay there's a woman here that probably is working against you behind your back now this could be a third party okay she could be going after, if you are, you know, your partner, okay? Um, this person is only cares about themselves. Um, there's going to be a problem that needs to be resolved, and it's going to happen in July, okay? Could be dealing with a Pisces as well. So what I see is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Taurus, okay? Um, could be anybody else, but... I want to say Libra as well, so I don't I don't know where that's coming from, um, but 
July is very prominent for you. You got a rat, you got a problem, and there's a woman in the mix that is causing problems. I, that's the way I feel. Or there's another woman, and I there's a woman here that is going to really um, be prominent this July. There could be two women. Okay, these women look completely different. So there's there's two women here by the looks of things. Uh, what do we have for Scorpio for July? What do we have for Scorpio? Ten of Swords. This is blading, stabbed right in the back. So uh, you may be ending up stabbed in the back by somebody. Yes, sir. Um, six of Shields or Six of Pentacles. Now this is receiving. We have the scales up here. Somebody's going to get exactly what they deserve. Um... Two people are are getting attention. You notice this? Usually the Six of Pentacles, one is getting and one really isn't getting that much. But you see they're getting... We got two people here that are getting attention. Okay? So there's definitely... A, we got a problem. We definitely got a problem. Especially if you're in, you're in a relationship with somebody and your partner is giving attention to two different people. You know, that's what just came out of my mouth. If you are single, you're going to be receiving attention from somebody that is also giving attention to somebody else. Oh, this is heartbreaking. It is definitely very painful. This is bleeding. Okay, this is this is uh, very hurtful. Okay, this is bleeding. It is. We got bleeding here and bleeding here. Bloody. Okay, this is this is heart heartache. Separation, painful, uh, betrayal, the end, you know, the ten is the end, the, and it hurts. So, so the three of swords is pain, heartache, grief, suffering, a rejection of some sort, a painful separation with the ten of swords and the three of swords. You know, some people, somebody's going to get exactly what they deserve for hurting another person. Okay? There's, oh my. God, you got a freaking rat here. The Merlin, this is Merlin reversed or the Hermit reversed. Now, this is a midlife crisis. You may be going through a midlife crisis right now. There's loneliness, there's sadness. Um, something is going to be shown to you, definitely, that was hidden. Somebody has been keeping secrets. That's the way I feel. Strength reverse. Now you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo as well. Now the strength reversed is uh, vulnerable, weak, low self-esteem, uh, depression. You know, you could go under a depression. There is somebody here that cannot restrain themselves, may not have been able to restrain themselves. There's can't master their emotions, didn't couldn't restrain themselves, perhaps from a it feels like there's a third party situation here. I just I have to be honest. Now this is somebody that is very controlling. That like that has a big ego, extremely. When a card is in reverse, to me, it's an extremely big ego. Um Needs attention. Four of Swords. Now this is... Uh... <sighs> well, the Four of Swords to me is the death of a situation. We have somebody here that is extremely exhausted. We, we are, okay? Extremely exhausted and fed up. It's like they're going to get... It feels like this is a dead end. Um... Break time, need to take a break because there's going to be a painful ending here. I'm just, I got to be honest with you. I can't, and it may make you weak. It may make you feel sick. You may need to take retreat. You may want to seclude yourself and go into hiding or something, you know, and take a time out because 
there's, you know, I feel like we have somebody that is, this is, when we have a rat, someone that is working against you, this is somebody who is trying to mess up your life, okay? So there could be somebody that is jealous of you even. Maybe it's another woman. Maybe it's an ex. Somebody, you know, I'm not sure who this is. Somebody is jealous. Anyhow, the strength reversed is uh, despair. You're dealing, and you know, you may be feeling despair. You may be dealing with an individual that lacks respect for others. They don't have any respect. They're very selfish. That's what you're dealing with. They may be, they may be continuing to contact your person or something like that because they, they're, they're selfish. They don't want to be alone. A hermit reversed. So you just, you definitely need to be careful. You got somebody that is, especially if you are a woman, okay, you're a woman watching this. Somebody, I feel like if you are a woman watching this, there is somebody after your man. That's how I feel. If you are a man watching this, you may be dealing with two women. Okay? Um, and somebody could get hurt with this three of swords in the middle. This is hurt. This is in ten of swords. This is painful. This is a painful situation where... You know, there's definitely an uh, individual here that only cares about themselves. Very, very, very selfish. Knight of Cups upright. So looking for love, looking for romance. Very emotional. Ooh, injustice. Ooh, the justice reversed. Now this is bad karma. This is a liar. Somebody that doesn't tell the truth. Somebody uh, isn't telling the truth. You got somebody here that uh, is a liar. You're dealing with a liar. You really need to be careful. You really, 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 really need to be careful. Um, it's funny that I said Libra. It feels like we have a, and it could be a Libra. It could be a Leo. Uh, and it could be anybody. But it, we definitely have somebody here that is up to no good. They're up to no good. Um, there's also could be some some sort of legal losses that go against you. I just got to be honest. Okay. If this is legal related or if it's not about um, a love relationship, there could be some something to do with court here or the law or something where you're dealing with an individual that blames you for everything. This person is a is a pathological liar. Um, they are very imbalanced. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. They're very dishonest. And they w may project themselves to be all kind and generous and giving, but they're not. So anyway... This is deserving. Somebody's going to get exactly what they deserve because we, we talked about that a minute ago. And this is bad karma. So whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, whoever this rat is, is going to get some bad karma. There could be somebody coming in that if, and, and if you're wondering what their karma is, they could be, say this person hurt you. They betrayed you. They wanted to control you, they lied about you, whatever they did, they may have somebody coming into their lives that is going to do the same thing to them. Just saying. Anyhow, um, but this, this justice card reversed is, a uh, unfair. This isn't, this is unfair. Uh, there's definitely, you're going to be dealing with a liar this month, and I'm sorry to say that. There's definitely, you're going to be dealing with a liar that d tries to talk their way out of something. A very smooth talker. They may even use emotional blackmail on you. Ooh, magician, this is take action. As above, so below. Somebody is, uh, this is, there's a new relationship coming in. There is. 
just so you know. I know I'm changing the story, but this is like, when I see, I just happen to really look at these roses, and roses is about romance, and then I saw, see this Knight of Cups, which is romance is in the air. So for some of you, there is somebody coming in, but I feel like this is a master manipulator. Oh my God. Now, I don't know if it's, what is going on here, but you've got to be careful because remember, this is pointing up at this Six of Pentacles again. And remember, this guy was giving to two people or this person. This guy's the person. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Libra and looking at the scales again. If it's not a Libra, it could be anybody. Okay, this is somebody that is trying to go back and forth and they're, they are going back and forth very, very well. Put it that way. This person is very skilled. Very, very skilled. Um, at manipulating, okay? The magician is a manipulator, absolutely. So uh, we have a very skilled individual here that is, is uh, oh my God, a liar. We have a liar here. That is, it's almost like they are pretending to love you and it's just because they don't want to be alone. There's really no love here. Yeah. The high priestess. The high priestess is it you need to go within. You need to look deeper. Look deeper. Take a minute. Take a time out. Okay, you need to take a time out and reflect on what you are feeling. Reflect reflect on what your intuition is telling you. I think you have a divine connection with the universe here. And they are trying to tell you that you are dealing with a liar. And I think that you've been getting the nudges. You've been getting the messages. And you have been doubting yourself. You have been doubting what you are hearing. I feel as though you're dealing with a master manipulator that is uh, not telling you the truth and they are getting away with it. They're getting away with it with their smooth talk and, and I think deep down you know, you know that you're dealing with a master manipulator. Anyhow, I feel it also for some of you, I'm changing the story a little bit, you may have called in somebody. There's fireworks. There's going to be some fireworks. Ha! Huh. There is going to be some fireworks. Ah, everything that happens for a reading is for you. During a reading is for you. But anyhow, this is, you asked for it. Somebody's going to get exactly what they asked for, put it that way. And it's going to be karma. And it don't look good, okay, with the justice reversed. Um, the high priestess is very observant. Also, what I where I was going with this was this is like uh asking for a relationship, asking for love. Some of you may be coming together with somebody that is very spiritual. And maybe that's you. This is a very spiritual individual that is um could be a healer, could be a tarot reader, could be a psychic, could be a medium, somebody that teaches spirituality, somebody that is very in touch with the universe, okay? So some of you are uh, go are going to be receiving communication from this person. You're going to be communicating with this person, and this could be a tarot reader or or a healer that is telling you that you're dealing with somebody that is deceptive and that you know whatever. Anyhow, but I do, you may be, you may be, and this is the one. So for some of you, you are going to be connecting with the one, okay? You're going to know it too. You will, so that's another, that's for somebody else. I don't know who it's for. Some, somebody is going to be connecting with the one and you're going to feel it. This is a very feeling energy. But this is about shedding the old to bring in the new. So there we do have a new love connection here. But you're going to have to really open your eyes because there's somebody working against you that is pretending. They are. They're pretending. They're lying to you. Hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of self-awareness here. There is. I think you are highly aware of what I'm talking about and who I'm talking about. But you're, you're obviously, 
you know, going to have to make a choice based on facts, which you probably have been reluctant to make. Because, you know, he's pointing down, look at this magician, pointing down at the injustice. This is like a higher power that is going to bring somebody what they deserve. One person is going to get a relationship that they deserve. And the other person is going to have a loss, bad karma. You take a look at that magician. One is pointing at the six of pentacles upright and one is pointing at the justice reversed. Somebody definitely going to get what they deserve. Okay. And on one hand, it ain't going to be good. And on the other, it is. So that's very interesting here. Now the Knight of Cups is, is, is definitely going to be emotional. Okay, the Knight of Cups is, in the upright, is an offer of love or emotional support or, you know, relationship growth. It's, it's definitely going to be an intense time. And we do have some sort of secrets here. Somebody has been keeping secrets and I believe those secrets are going to be revealed. I feel like there's a third party situation here. And I think you know it. You know it. There is going to be a separation with the Three of Swords. Okay. And the Ten of Swords. It's going to come to an end. This um, injustice is going to come to an end. You're about to get what you deserve. You've asked for it. And you do have a divine connection. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. There could be some upcoming legal problems, like I said. But romance is in the air, just so you know. Romance is in the air. Some of you are going to be coming together with somebody that you called in. But I don't think it's who you think it is. You know what I mean? I think it's somebody else. You definitely have manifested something. I just cut it to the Ace of Shields, and this is manifestation as well. You have manifested a new opportunity. Good or, I think, I mean, it looks like it's good, but for some people it's not. Okay, something, if it, July is going to be a very prominent month where you are going to get exactly what you deserve. Whether it be good or bad. Good luck.